And what about me? What about Nachmus Saslav? What about this poor sinner who stands before you, my dear friends? Am I worthy to lead you at this faithful hour? What can I say? What can I say? Master of the world, yes, I, Menachem of Saslav, have rebelled against your sovereignty. Truly am I descended from the seed of Cain and of the seed of Yoroban, the great idolater. And yet, like our father Yosef, I have kept your holy covenant. I have not befouled the cloak which I received from my ancestors. True, I have spent much time in Pharaoh's house. But from the house of defilement have I emerged at the end with a pure heart. Thus I return to my God, the Holy One, blessed be He. And therefore I do beg you to remember your covenant which you made with my holy ancestors, all of whom were your most humble servants. Master of the world, certainly you did create the most awesome obstructions, blocks which pull even the holiest tzaddik back to the lowest levels and far from your holy Torah. This is only a temporary stage, a means for your tzaddikim to rise to still higher and more unfathomable heights. Is it not written? There are times when setting aside the Torah preserves it. Rabbi Yochanan related, One time we were traveling by ship and we saw this fish which had raised its head out of the water. His eyes resembled two moons and he spouted out water from his two nostrils like the two rivers of Syria. He spouted out water from his two nostrils. This is an allusion to the two messiahs whom the Gentiles will seek out and be drawn to. As is written, all the nations shall flow unto him. Through first Messiah ben Yosef of the seed of Yosef, and then through Messiah ben David of the seed of David, will the nations be redeemed, and then will the nations be drawn to the two messiahs in order to learn the word of God. Through the two messiahs, whose well springs will spout forth, they will all be transformed into a pure tongue. Thus will be fulfilled the scripture. I will transform the nations to a pure tongue, that they may all call upon the name of God to serve him in unison. Now Jerusalem is in the heart of the world. As is written, I have placed Jerusalem in the midst of the nations. Therefore it is to the Holy Land that we must travel, if we would hasten the redemption. To the Holy Land and there to fulfill the verse, speak unto the heart of Jerusalem, and from Jerusalem we will speak to all the nations. There in the Holy Land, where the navies of Napoleon and the Turk face each other and each day engage in new bloody carnage, there already is in progress the final battle of Gog and Magog that is preparing the day of redemption. Now that the day of judgment has at last arrived, all obstacles with this moment and forevermore cease to exist. For now the two messiahs are only one, and now is your true tzaddik of the generation allowed to remain permanently attached to the upper wisdom. But this is a state which may be attained only in the Holy Land of Israel, and therefore we must no longer hesitate. We must prepare to set sail immediately, dear Lord, Master of the world, thy hour is at hand. Tomorrow in the morning we will rise into our carriages. We are the holy messengers, as is written, Moses sent angels as messengers. But the holy land of Israel is attained only through suffering, and it is to arm you against all the great impediments which will arise before us in our journey that I have prepared you during the past year. All our midnight vigils, all the special fast days, Additional prayers and confessions have led to this awesome time. I am sure that each one of you is ready to face the tasks which awaits us on the way. The main thing, as I have told you again and again, is not to despair. Even he who stands on the very bottom rung, God forbid, or in the very depths of hell, may God protect us, should nevertheless not despair. He will fulfill the scripture out of the belly of the deep I cried, and be as strong as he can. The main thing is this, it is forbidden to despair. Gavald, do not despair. There is no such thing as despair at all. In fact, the truth is exactly the opposite of despair. You must accept all your sufferings with joy, since these sufferings are your portion, which the Lord has given specifically to you in order to bring about a successful conclusion to our great mission. Instead of despair, we must sing and dance and clap our hands many times to bring the Messiah now. 
My fire will burn until Mashiach comes. I prepare to give thanks and praise to my Creator, to unify the Holy One, blessed be He and His Shekhinah, in awe and love, in the name of all Israel. I'm sorry to have to disturb you all, but this here Rebbe from Shultrina is going and lodge a complaint against Jesus. He says you've been operating on these premises some kind of cult or something. He says you've been sitting here and reading the wrong book and making up new song, saying the wrong words when he's doing your praying. And he says you've been making too much noise, what, laughing and yelling and such. Of course, I ain't seen none of it. But he says he got ten witnesses. The witnesses pop up. Can back him up as much as you please. The witnesses pop down. And he says he's don't go to work. Instead, he's just sitting around all day reading those books he's not supposed to be reading. He says he's going to excommunicate you or something like that and get you out of town. In the meantime, he says he wants me to lock you up since he is a danger to the whole world. He and using cahoots can save them all. The sheriff moves towards the money store while addressing himself to the Reddy. That right, Mr. Reddy? That what I supposed to tell him? Sound of cash register. Large greenback or two slides out. Loud background music and chanting continue. While the sheriff holds up the money, puts it in his pocket, and begins putting handcuffs on the knife. To the ready. Well, thanks a lot, Mr. Baby. To the knife. I reckon you've got to come along with me to the jailhouse, to the audience. And as far as the rest of you folks concerned, I suggest you make yourself scarce around these here parts for a while. We ain't got much room in the jailhouse, but this year Rebbe from Sutrina got a lot of rich friends to make life pretty uncomfortable for you, if you know what I mean. Guess we'll leave it at that for now, for the night. All right, mister, come now, get going. This ends Act 1, Intermission Power.